Hey guys, Yankee here, and today I'm going to be giving my thoughts on Booster Gold Volume 1 52 Pickup. This is the first trade collecting, I think, the first six issues of the 2007, 2008, 2009, somewhere in there, uh, Booster Gold series. Um, before we really get into the comic, um, just a brief history of me with the character, and it's very brief. Um... I was first introduced to Booster Gold on an episode of Smallville, which he was in, where uh, I thought he was really neat, right? A superhero from the future comes back in time to use his future knowledge to sort of uh, become a celebrity. Neat. And then in New 52, he was in Justice League International, which New 52 was sort of like the peak of me trying to really get into and follow comics. Um, and so I had a few issues of that. I don't remember anything about it. Um, and that's it. Uh, he's always seemed like an interesting character, so I wanted to check something out from him. Uh, and then this got reprinted uh, earlier this year. I'm recording this in June 23. I don't know when I'm going to ever upload this. Um, but it came out in, like, April. Um, and so I figured he's got a show coming out soon. They'll probably print more Booster Gold stuff, so I figured this would be a good chance to jump in. Um, so now with that out of the way, uh, this is nothing... Uh, like what I expected. Um, I know a little bit of the DC history around this time, um, and I know about, like, some of Booster Gold's relationships, right? Uh, like, I know he's friends with Blue Beetle Ted Cord. I knew that coming into this. Uh, I knew Blue Beetle was dead. Uh, and then I also knew... I know what 52 is, right? Uh, 52 was, what, a weekly series where Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman have just, like, gone. They're taking a year off, and then other heroes are sort of stepping into... Uh, fill their shoes, and Booster Gold was one of them, and he was popular enough that he got his own series, I guess. Um, and so this series is not the silly Booster Gold um, using his future knowledge to try and become a celebrity. This is him uh, after what? When did that original comic come out? Like the 80s? This is 20 years later. He's completely different. He is trying to just be a hero, trying to help people, and trying to uh, get a spot on the Justice League. And eventually we get a, a different character. What's his name? Um, what is his name? Rip Hunter? Is that right? Uh, time Traveler. From the future? Maybe? He's time traveling, so I would assume he's from the future. Uh, basically comes to Booster Gold and says, Hey, uh, time is a mess and people are trying to manipulate it. I need you to sort of help. Uh, you can't be a real hero in the eyes of the public. I need you to be the silly Booster Gold people think you are already while sort of uh, saving people from sort of the shadows, right? Going back and making sure the timeline stays intact. Um, and that's what the six issues of this is. It's just... Um, first issue is him trying to join the Justice League and then eventually joining Rip Hunter to travel through time. Um, and his deal uh, was, I'll help you uh, fix time. <laughs> uh, you got to help me save Blue Beetle. you got to help me save Ted. And so that's what this, this whole thing is about. We go back in time. We see um, like a bunch of different characters. Um, we see like, uh, we go back to the Wild West and we see, was it Jonah Hex? Um, which I've not read anything from. I only know him from the movie, and I didn't see that movie. I only saw the previews for that movie. Um, we get a scene with, like, Guy Gardner and, um, oh, what is his name? The Green Lantern villain. Um, Sinestro. Um, and so he's just going back in time and, like, fixing things. Like, okay, if Sinestro meets Guy Gardner at this moment, uh, time is messed up. Fix it. Okay. Uh, if you don't stop somebody from killing this doctor, well then, what was it, Batman's ancestors will never be born? Uh, so Batman will never be born. And so it's just hopping through time trying to prevent somebody, who we're not really sure who it is until the end, from messing with time. Uh, one thing about this comic, which I'll once I read more we'll see how it goes, um, there's a lot of like... All right, here's Booster Gold's entire family. Here is um, his, like, grandfather, or even great-great, 
grandfather because I think booster gold's from like a thousand years in the future or something ridiculous or maybe it's only a hundred I don't remember um I know he comes from like the legion of superheroes time which is like I think it's the 22nd century right anyway um so he's hanging out with like uh his ancestor at the beginning um and like time has already changed a little bit because there's mention of uh I forget what his his like great great grandfather or whatever his name is um but basically he was supposed to meet a girl that will eventually become his wife and then booster gold becomes way in the future uh and that like that gets messed up a little bit and eventually like they meet in this comic um which i don't know how much of a role he will play going forward um because he had like a superhero suit um which got stolen and then was being used by the villain and then we get the reveal that the villain is actually Booster Gold's father from the future, uh, who we get, like, a brief recap of his relationship with his father in this, which is, like, um, I forget what it was, like, or maybe this is just my outside knowledge, I don't remember much, um, his dad was gambling, and he, Booster Gold used to be a football player, and so he wanted Booster Gold to, like, throw a game so he could win money, um, and now he's a time-traveling villain? Okay, um, we'll see how that goes if he pops up again, um, I don't know, uh, we get, like, um, Rip Hunter is very focused on, alright, we gotta keep the timeline in check, we gotta make sure everything is going good, uh, we can't change anything, or if we do change anything, it has to be to course correct, right, we're not trying to, uh, better ourselves or change things that, uh, shouldn't be changed it's just about all right somebody else is meddling we gotta fix things to get everything on the right path and so he's trying really hard to talk booster out of trying to save ted um and there's even a scene where or like a whole issue i think where um uh, rip tells booster like all right go save barbara gordon she gets shot by the joker and paralyzed that's not supposed to happen fix it and each time booster fails and then rip was trying to teach him a lesson it's like all right we can't save everything some things are just set in stone no matter how hard you try uh the joker's always going to cripple batgirl uh which is funny now because i think she's just walking around i don't know if they ever uh, came up with a reason for why or if it's just like new 52 reboot happened and she can walk because she was never shot um but it's just funny reading that and being like, no, Barbara Gordon can never not be paralyzed by the Joker. She must be in a wheelchair. Uh, and then she's just not anymore. Um, but Rip was trying to teach him, like, all right, the Blue Beetle's death is important, and he can't come back. We can't bring him back. Uh, and then in the background of all these issues, we've seen somebody going around and collecting past Blue Beetles. The original one, whose name I don't know, um and I'm not familiar with in the slightest, uh, and then Jaime, um, the current Blue Beetle, who took over after, I think after Ted died? I don't think he took over, like, I don't think he became Blue Beetle bef while Ted was alive. Um, they show up and with another character, um, like, the future Blue Beetle, I think, um, and it's like, all right, we have to save Ted. He wasn't supposed to die, and so, like, there's this conflict going on where Rip Hunter is telling Booster, no, we can't save him. Like, it, that history is set in stone. We've got another time traveler coming in saying, like, all right, we have to save him at all costs. This isn't supposed to happen. Uh, and Booster, obviously, chooses to save Ted. And that's sort of where this volume like, leaves off with Ted and Booster reunited. And sort of we'll see how it goes. How Like, was this supposed... Who was right? Was Rip Hunter right? Was this the Blue Beetles right? Uh, I don't know. And I'm interested to read more. I don't know if any of these volume, like if volume two has been solicited or if I'm going to be waiting an eternity hoping it gets reprinted. Um, again, there's a TV show coming out, I think. I can't remember if it's a TV show or a movie. Anyway, Booster Gold's going to be relevant in the future. So I expect uh, his comics to start getting reprinted more. Um, I know his original series had a couple of hardcovers. I don't really like hardcovers. So I'm hoping that will get reprinted in trades because I really want to read that stuff. Um, because again, the Booster Gold that I have in my mind is the one that I saw in that one episode of the TV show decades ago. Not decade, uh, a little over a decade ago. Um, where he's just 
a guy from the future trying to make money. And that's kind of what I want to read. Like, this was really good, and I really want to follow up on this. Uh, but I just wish I had... I, could, I saw the beginning first before getting to this point. Um, but yeah, that's it for my thoughts on Booster Gold 52 Pickup. Uh, it's cool. I liked it a lot, and I'm hoping they keep putting these trades out, because I think this series is like 40 issues. Um, so if they keep doing like six six issue trades, we can get like seven volumes out of this. Um, and I'd, I'd be down for that. I'm interested in reading more. Uh, so anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.